For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another NCAA college football update for EA College Sports 25, whatever they're going to call it. I think that's the official name right now. But either way, there's a very big update, including the possible release date of the game being released just yesterday. I'm going to give you guys the whole story behind that, but it looks pretty concrete. Other than that, I have other information I'm going to share you guys, some new information that I found when researching the new game. But as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this as I plan on doing content when the game comes out, especially next month when they have the uh, the big release, uh, you know, promo and stuff like that coming out. They're going to give us a lot of information about the game. I plan on doing a lot of videos about that topic. So if you guys want me to continue to do NCAA college football material, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, one of the biggest mysteries of the uh, NCAA game to this point that everybody kind of needs to know is when the game is going to come out. When the what's the release date for the game? A lot of people were kicking around the fact that it was most likely going to be a July release, although I did hear some people thinking that it might be June because some of the previous uh, versions did get released in previous years in June. Uh, Kirk Herbstreet was on, I forget what podcast, I want to say it was the... Um, uh, the Pat McAfee show or something like that. And he did say that it was going to be a July release, but we got even more information uh, late yesterday where basically a somewhat known uh, reporter who is kind of a mysterious reporter. Uh, this guy kind of reminds me of like WikiLeaks to Madden, a guy by the name of Dov Kleiman, who a lot of people might not be familiar with. Uh, but if you go to his Twitter account, his Twitter account has close to 300,000 subscribers now. It's going up pretty quick because he's reporting a lot on NCAA just like I am here uh, but he reported yesterday about 14 hours ago at the time of me recording this that he just put a breaking news sounder that college football 25 is expected to come out on July 19th now I don't really know who this guy is so I had to look into it quite a bit and I actually found some videos of some uh, ESPN or some you know some podcast guys really questioning who Dov Kleiman is apparently there's no real picture of this guy I mean his Twitter account nobody questions that his Twitter account which is the only thing that he has active is a pretty reputable source because none of the stuff that he puts out is ever really fake. But I dove a little bit deeper and I Googled Dov Kleiman release date and he actually in January put out a separate tweet, a separate tweet saying that this game was going to come out on July 12th. So both of those sound like really, um, you know, the, the, the most likely dates because a lot of people that are just guessing at this point are suggesting that it's going to come out somewhere mid-July uh, because they want to have plenty of time between when this game comes out and when Madden comes out. It's usually like a month to six weeks so that, you know, the, the, the appeal of it dies down enough that they're not running over the release of their next big game, which is Madden. So they want people to buy this game, have fun for it, get a little bit bored with it, and then want to play whatever the new uh, Madden is. That's basically the the way that they want to double dip into these two games because they are so similar uh, as far as they're both about football um, even though one's about college and one's about NFL but that got me to wonder if I should make this video or not but then I woke up this morning and I found a bunch of other uh, outlets basically quoting Dov Kleiman and saying that this game is uh, releasing on July 19th. One of them is Sports Illustrated. So if Sports Illustrated is uh, comfortable enough to use this guy as a source, I guess I am as well, even though some of the other sources that were basically um, connected to Dov Kleiman, one of which is, I think he works for Bro Bible now, which is also another pretty reputable uh, source. They have about 120,000 followers on Twitter. So now that plenty of other reputable sources are using this and are comfortable running with this, I'm going to go out on a limb and run with it too and suggest that um, this is more than likely accurate and that this is when the game is going to come out. So it looks like the release date, the official release date for this game should be July 19th, so make your plans. Although I'm sure that EA might have an early access window, which they typically do if you buy the, the more expensive version, uh, which I'm sure all that stuff will be released next month when they have the, the full reveal. Um, so if you guys want more information about that, like I said, I'm going to put a lot of content out about that once that comes out as well. But I'm sure that it'll be the 19th, and I'm sure they'll use the same uh, tactics they use for, for Madden, where if you buy the, the more expensive version, you'll probably get it as early as the 16th or, you know, stuff like that. They do that pretty much for, for all their sports games. And I would imagine this would be the same way. Now, digging a little bit deeper into some other stuff, I have some other stories as well. Um, 
I did in my last video, and I'll leave a link in the description, or I'll have a pop-up at the end of the video if you guys want to check out the last video I made. Uh, I did a couple of uh, reports as far as how many players and how many teams are confirmed to be in this game. Now, I think the number was 134 teams, but doing deeper research, I found that if you had your hopes up to play with an FCS team or a Division One team, there's not going to be any FCS or Division One teams in the game, which is something that uh, I've heard a lot of people are a little bit upset about. That were you know excited about possibly using um, you know one of the Division One schools. That's not going to be an option. Apparently, in NCAA coming out, you're really only going to have the option of fake. Uh, Division One teams, which I think is kind of strange to have fake Division One teams, but that's you know according to the report that I read. Uh, after that, um, you know, tell, tell me what you guys think about that. I mean, I, I me personally, I don't even know a ton of Division One teams, but if if it's something that you're looking forward to, if you're local to a Division One team, I would imagine that it's gonna you know affect. Um, your desire to play the game if you can't actually play your favorite team. Now, I don't know if you're going to have the ability to create a team or to relocate, stuff like that. Maybe there's a workaround in effect where you can basically try to create your favorite uh, Division One team. But I don't have a ton of hope for that when I get to my next topic, which is uh, the creative players. Now, I did in the last video how it said that there was over 10,000 athletes signed on. That number is almost up to 11,000. And when you think of how big the rosters are in college football, you know, that I'm not sure how impressive that is because realistically, um, it's not like the NFL where they have to get down to 53. It's, you know, in, in, in the college, I'm pretty sure you can have as many as you like. I don't think they have to cut anybody. I know that the rosters go up to like 100 players or over on some teams. So... I did see somewhere it said that like as many as 85 players to a team signed on, which is really cool. But uh, overall, you know, there are still players, and there's a deadline for this actually that's this month. I think it was the 29th of April that every player has to decide whether or not to sign on and be in the game or not sign on. And then there's possibly no chance to ever get into the game. And I'm going to get you guys some information about that because EA is kind of playing hardball when it comes to players signing on. The deadline was the 29th, and there was supposedly no possible option to get in after the 29th. And they take it a step further. They've also said, they've stated this, that if a player does not sign on, that they will not be able to be created in the game, which is something that I don't really understand how they're going to do that. Uh, but to say, I mean, the last video that I put out, I said that one of the biggest names that's not going to be in the game because they don't have an NIL deal is Arch Manning. And apparently, if you get the game and you say, okay, I'll just fill in the blank and I'll create him, it won't let you do that. That's something that they're basically telling these kids or these uh, these college athletes that if you don't sign on, you won't be able to be created in the game either, which is something I don't really know how they're going to do that. I would imagine that if you went into the creator player section and you try to create a player by the name you're trying to create, that it would just give you some sort of error. I don't understand how that would work, but that's just really hardball tactics, and that's not really. I get it why they're trying to, you know, they're trying to to get people to sign on to the to the to be in the game. But at the same time, what about the people that are buying the game that want to play as these players, and you're taking away that option too? And this also lends itself to another rumor that this game will not be available for a PC. That's only going to be on next gen console, Xbox, and PlayStation. And the rumor is that they don't want um, PC players to basically mod it, to basically be able to do things like update the rosters and stuff like that, which is kind of crazy uh, that they're going to cut out that much of a potential you know, sales for themselves over something so simple. But this is just where EA's head's at. It's, there's obvious signs to support that now. Other than that, I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see the first video that I put out just a couple days ago about everything you need to know about NCAA right now, I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.